Hey guys, welcome back to Olubori TV. So, some U.S. senators have written to the United States President, President Biden, to release Nigeria as a major violator of religious freedom. Uh, this letter was um, written by two U.S. Republican lawmakers and was signed by another three senators. As we all know, the recent um, security challenges that seems to be the norm with our dear beloved president, President Mohamed Dubari's tenure, or as I like to call it, regime, the killings have just skyrocketed. I mean, I'm not saying during the times of Obasanjo, during the times of Jonathan, okay, Yaradwa, Jonathan, I'm not saying there weren't killings, but now I think it, it, it just happens to be the author of the day. Just recently, over 17 soldiers were killed as um, Boko Haram attempted to capture Shiroro Dam. Now, news reports say that they attempted to capture Shiroro Dam, but we both know Nigeria, if news, if the news is saying one thing, most likely it's a, it's, it's a completely different thing. So chances are they actually have captured um, <laughs> Shiroro Dam. And people, who they keep telling us that uh, there's power, there's issue with the national grid. Hey, I see, I see what is going on. In case if you guys don't, I see what is going on. So these two um, American senators in person of Mark Rubio and Josh Hawley wrote a letter to President Joe Biden to release Nigeria as a country of particular concern. Uh, with increasing cases of violence against Christians in the country, particularly Christians in the northern region of the country. I mean, we all witnessed what happened to Deborah. May I so rest in peace in um, Sokoto. What did she do? She made some comments on the department's WhatsApp group. I'm not even going to go into what she said, but she made so even if she came out to say that uh <laughs> that um the prophet was something, something, something. Hey, I think I need to watch I need to watch my back so I don't see anything <laughs> that lands me in trouble. But even if she came out to say the prophet was something, 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 does that give you the right to lynch her, to to stone her, to burn up like damn? Hey, I've heard people say Jesus is, that doesn't move me. I am a Christian. That doesn't move me. Salvation is personal, as we like to tell people. If you think Jesus is the worst thing that happened to the world, hey, that's your cup of tea. I, I will not even argue with you. The Bible says, I answer not a fool in his, in, in his own words, lest you become a fool like him. But come on. That that and that is just one case, one 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 scenario. Take Kaduna for example. The people of Southern Kaduna have been victims long, long, long time ago, and they and and they are still victims up till now. Every day we hear reports, we hear new reports emanating from the from Kaduna State. The governor is even a bigot himself. The the governor happens to be someone that um. When Jonathan, when um, he was campaigning for Buhari against Jonathan, then he called, he said Jonathan was part of the sponsors of Boko Haram. He called Jonathan a pig. So imagine if that is the state governor, how much more, like, do, do you get, do you people get, do you, do, you, do you see where I'm coming from with this? What about Joss? Place with Joss. That, that, it, it has always been like that. Like Ever since I've known about that place, it has always been like that. In the letter to the United States Secretary of State, these um, senators urged the president, that is President Joe Biden, to immediately reinstate Nigeria as a country of particular concern under the International Religious Freedom Act. They cited that there has been a recent surge in violent attacks and killings of Nigerian Christians by their Muslim counterpart over alleged blasphemy of Prophet Muhammad and other allegations in Nigeria, especially in the northern region. What did I say? There have been series of abductions and killing of Christian clerics in the country. 
There were also recent attacks on Catholic churches in Owa Ondo State in the southern region and Kaduna State in the northern region, where no fewer than 50 worshippers were killed and dozens were injured. The one that even happened at Owa, like God, the mere thought of it just brings vivid flash flashbacks. I mean, I saw the video, the, 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 the poor girl that came out of the country just to visit her parents, or rather to, to visit her grandparents. Imagine, imagine what, what, what the, imagine the fright that she went through before she was killed. Seeing what was going on, thinking that, ah, there's no, nowhere to run to. All because what? They are Christians and you're Muslims and what? You, you are fighting jihad or, man. The U.S. lawmakers noted that religious violence is still very high in Nigeria, which had been earlier put on the list of the countries of particular concern with regards to religious violence by the former president, Donald Trump, but was delisted by the current Biden administration, which is one thing that I still blame people for. You know, some, some Nigerians actually support, um, when it comes to Trump and Biden, some Nigerians are like supporting Biden, like Trump, Trump is a racist. Uh, he did this. He listed Nigeria as um, a country of concern when the nigger was just doing what was right. Ever since Buhari became president, it has been one story after another. At least in terms of killings, we did a report here on Olubori TV. We've had more people murdered. We've had more people kidnapped. We've had more people lynched. We've had more cases like this ever since this person became president. So come on, one plus one, we always give you two. It's, 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 it's not rocket science. If I was a president of a country, I would be skeptical about my citizens visiting Nigeria. Yes, I would be. Because I know that at any point, anything can happen. Anything can happen. God forbid you are kidnapped. I mean, some time ago, some U.S. citizens were kidnapped in the north. The U.S. had to send Navy SEALs. In fact, nobody knew it was until after they rescued their citizens. Like, imagine. So... All these all this bandits, quote-unquote, that keep kidnapping our people. It is very possible for the government to rescue them. But no, that doesn't happen. What does that tell you? People say that these uh, guys are, they are, they are state-sponsored terrorists. I'm beginning to believe that. I'm beginning to think that there are elements in our government that are sponsoring these people. But hey, what do I know? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Till next time, Arrivederci.